Hello, and welcome to our Google Wallet webinar. We're glad that you could join us today to learn more about how Wallet is expanding online and what it means for you and your customers. If you have questions at any point during our presentation, please feel free to use the chat feature. We have team members on hand to answer your questions over chat, and we'll answer some of the most popular questions aloud at the end of this presentation. We'll also share a video of this webinar afterwards, so you can always refer back to the content that you'll see today. We'd like to start by sharing the three most important things that you'll hear today. First, there's nothing that you're required to change right now. Although we'll ask you to make a few changes to your messaging and the information on your website early in 2012, we'll give you plenty of guidance beforehand, so there's no need to worry. Second, your fee rates, payout schedules, order processing actions, and account management tools will all stay exactly the same. In other words, you won't need to learn any new steps to process your orders or retrain your staff, and you won't need to change your integration method or revise your accounting and bookkeeping processes. Third, the changes that we've just announced will give your customers a better shopping experience than ever because we're now offering them a unified channel, a single Google Wallet for both online and offline transactions. For consumers, the checkout product is becoming part of Google Wallet. They'll have one digital wallet that they can use to make purchases both in stores and online, plus a single dashboard at wallet.google.com manage to manage their payment information, shipping addresses, and account activities. As you'll see in a few minutes, your customers' new wallet accounts will have all the same functionality as their old checkout accounts, but a fresh look right now, as well as expanded features coming soon. For checkout merchants, nothing's changing at all right now. You can still accept payments from all of your existing checkout customers with the same low transaction processing fees as before, but now you'll also have access to new customers who were previously using only our Google Wallet mobile app. In fact, the only changes that we'll ask you to make in the future will be to any customer-facing messaging or content on your website that currently refers to Google Checkout. We'll take care of the rest, including automatically updating your current checkout buttons and purchase flow to our new wallet images. Now let's take a deeper dive into Google Wallet. We'll start with an introduction to the Google Wallet mobile app that many of you may have already heard about and show how we're now expanding Google Wallet online. Next, We'll show you what's changing for your customers and give you a peek at the new wallet dashboard that they'll use to manage orders and payment methods. After that, we'll explain what is and isn't changing for our checkout merchants and our integration or e-commerce partners. Finally, we'll let you know how you can reach us with any further questions after today. Until now, you may have been familiar with Google Wallet as a mobile app that stores virtual versions of existing payment methods, in effect, making a phone into a wallet. Using Near Field Communication, or NFC technology, customers can simply tap their phone not only to pay, but also to securely redeem offers and earn rewards with merchants at the point of sale. What do we say, uh, what do we mean, sorry, when we say that Google Wallet is now expanding online? It means that we're bringing customers a convenient, secure, and seamless shopping experience with a single account across offline and online purchasing channels. In sum, we're broadening the Google Wallet vision by giving your customers a single digital wallet for use not only in stores, but also on the web. Our merchants know Google Checkout as a simple HTML or API integration that allows you to receive payment information with just a few clicks on your website. Your customers, meanwhile, are already familiar with Checkout as a service that gives them a single login to make purchases across the web. Though the Google Checkout name for your customers has now been transitioned to Google Wallet, they'll still enjoy the same ease of shopping online with their new wallet as they did with their Checkout accounts. The Google Wallet online service lets consumers carry their wallet on the web by securely storing their credit cards in their online account. 
When a customer checks out of online merchants that accept Google Wallet or Google Checkout, they can quickly pay by signing into their account. For the next few months, Google Checkout and Google Wallet buttons will coexist. Your customers may see Google Wallet buttons and purchase flows when they shop on a Google site, such as YouTube or Android Market, and then they'll see checkout buttons when they shop at your store. Their Google Wallet account will work exactly the same way for an easy purchase experience in both cases. So if all the core functionality of checkout has been absorbed into Wallet, what changes will your customers actually see? First, we'll introduce them to Google Wallet branding on the thank you page after they've made a purchase from you, on their email receipts, on the Wallet login page, and in interstitial messaging they'll see if they visit checkout.google.com. The graphic at the bottom of the slide is an example of what customers will see on the thank you page and on email receipts from Google Checkout. Second, they'll have a freshly designed dashboard at wallet.google.com manage to manage their account, including transaction history, payment methods, and shipping addresses. Here's another example of the type of wallet branding that your customers have already begun to experience. This is an interstitial that checkout users will see if they log into their account at checkout.google.com. As you can see from the text that we've included on this interstitial messaging, we're working hard to ensure that your customers feel reassured that none of their purchase history on checkout will be lost, as well as energized about the better shopping experience that we're giving them across multiple channels. They'll then be taken to the new wallet site where they can manage their purchases and payment information. Your customers will also see this wallet branding when they sign in at wallet.google.com manage, where they'll still be able to access all the payment information and order history from their checkout accounts. Let's take a look at a sample wallet account. You may recall that a checkout customer account was automatically created for you at the same time as your checkout merchant account, which means that each of you now has a Google Wallet. We encourage you to explore your wallet account in more detail to become familiar with the tools that your customers are using to manage their orders, edit payment methods and shipping addresses, and leave seller reviews. But here's a quick peek at two tabs of the new wallet account. As you can see, Managing payment methods is even easier than before with the visual improvements that we've added. Your customers can see at a glance which card is which, no matter how many payment methods they've saved. We've also refreshed the address book and incorporated Google Maps technology, making it simpler and faster to add, edit, delete, and manage shipping addresses. You'll see similar improvements in the rest of the account management tools now available to your customers. We have other features for Google Wallet in the works too, so stay tuned. Moving on, now we'd like to explain in more detail what is and isn't changing for checkout merchants. We'll start by reassuring you again that nothing will change for you during the rest of the year. You'll enjoy the same low transaction processing fee rates and payout schedules as before. You'll still sign in at checkout.google.com slash sell to manage your orders. The Merchant Center tools that you're already familiar with there will still be available to help you process orders, create dollar off promotions, download financial reconciliation reports, and manage other account activities just as you did in the past. Finally, those of you who currently submit your goods to Google product search We'll still have icons displayed on your listings to identify you as merchants who accept Google Checkout or Google Wallet for quick and secure payments. Early next year, you'll start to see a few changes. We'll take care of automatically updating Google branding and the purchase flow and changing all your existing checkout buttons to our new wallet buttons. This includes not only the buy and promotional dollar off buttons, but also buttons that organizations use for donations, contributions, and support. The only thing that we'll ask you to help us with is updating any customer service messaging or content on your website 
that currently refers to Google Checkout to Google Wallet information. Before we ask you to make these revisions, we'll provide you with suggested messaging to help explain Wallet to your customers. You're welcome to use this messaging however you'd like to best fit your site. Meanwhile, your fees and payouts will continue to stay exactly the same along with your current integration method. Early next year, we'll update Google Checkout buttons to Google Wallet buttons, such as the one in the graphic on the top right of this slide. In addition to new buttons, we'll change purchase flow branding to Google Wallet in early 2012. Those of you who have uploaded your company's own logo to be displayed on the existing checkout order confirmation page will still see them appear on the new wallet confirmation page alongside our wallet logo. Remember that these updates will happen automatically. There's nothing that you'll need to change. And we'll be sure to let you know before making any changes. Next, we'd like to explain what is and isn't changing for our e-commerce partners and shopping cart providers. You've already heard that your merchant's fees, payout schedules, product search badges, merchant center tools, and more won't be changing. Now, we want to reassure you that there also won't be changes to the current structure of our merchant referral incentive program, meaning that you'll still have the same incentive and payout schedules moving forward as you enjoy now. We'll simply ask that you update your sales and support resources that talk about Google Checkout to Google Wallet early next year. Beforehand, we'll give you messaging suggestions for your website and for your sales staff to help you explain and promote Wallet to your merchants. Before we wrap up our presentation, we'd like to point you in the direction of a few resources that you can turn to for support and to encourage you to make full use of them. We know that change, no matter how positive, can be confusing, so we want you to know that we're here to help. We encourage you to ask questions in our Checkout Merchant Forum. We'll monitor and respond to posts here. We'll also share a link to the YouTube video of this presentation that you can review at any time and share with others in your organization. And finally, please be on the lookout for reminders to update your website along with messaging guidelines, which we'll send you in the next few months. Thanks for the questions you've asked over chat during this session. We're going to take a few minutes to gather the most frequently asked questions. If you'd like to stay on the line, I'll be back in just a few minutes to answer these questions aloud for the group. While you're waiting, we'd love to hear your feedback about this webinar. So please take a moment to share your thoughts at the short link on this, on this slide. It's goo.gl slash IAV57. We'd like to take a moment now to answer a few of the most frequently asked questions over chat during this webinar. Uh, the first is about international availability. Uh, as you know, Google Checkout for sellers is currently available in the United States and the United Kingdom, and that won't be changing. Additionally, you're able to sell to consumers in more than 130 countries around the world. Uh, again, that's not changing. However, we do uh, anticipate adding additional countries in the future, so please stay tuned uh, for announcements on new seller and buyer countries. Another question that we heard a lot was, um, what's changing for nonprofit organizations? Are these same changes going to affect us as well? And yes, uh, nonprofit organizations will also be upgrading to new Google Wallet buttons and donation flows. Uh, the timeline is the same, early 2012 for these changes. Again, we'll let you know before making any of those changes. Additionally, if you're a Google Grants recipient, you'll continue uh, to get your free transaction processing through Google Checkout through the end of this year. And finally, we got some questions about uh, other features of Google Checkout and if those would be changing. We want to say again that there are no changes uh, to things like the email invoicing functionality, your current integration method, you won't need to reintegrate. 
uh, seller reviews will all be ported over and transaction limits will stay the same. Um, so email invoices and buy now buttons will have the same limit. Of course, you can continue to process as many transactions as you'd like through Google Checkout. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us.